Pisces, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for December 2018. Pisces, before we jump into this forecast, remember that the new blog is up at stormygrace.com or you can click in the description box down below and you can see the major astrological aspects and transits that are happening for December and then all the way through 2019 as well. As long as you are looking for them in your own chart, they will really be valuable to you. And I even give you a little blip up there on how to apply it to your own chart as well. So take advantage, look it up, it's free, it's awesome. And you also have just a couple days left to take advantage of the 45,000 subscriber gift that I put out just to say thank you for 45,000 subscribers. You guys are freaking amazing, okay? All right, Pisces, so first things first, as we're coming to December, I love December because it's a chill month. You get to drop your shoulders down, take a deep breath. There's a little bit of reflection on what you'd just like to make some adjustments to as we get ready to coast into 2019. So it's a month that I actually just think is really, really lovely, okay? Now, one of the things we've got going on is that as we are coming into December, Uranus is retrograde, but he's retrograded back into the Aries energy. Now, this energy lights up your second house space. Now, first and foremost, Uranus has been working in this area for seven years, so he's not showing you anything entirely new, but what the Aries energy is about is your identity, and it's your identity to second house house things, money, value, self-esteem, how you make money, valuing how you make money, talents that you have, skills, maybe even moving in the direction of something you're actually passionate about, right? So at the beginning of the month, I think it's a beautiful practice to look back seven years ago. What did your finances look like? What did your self-esteem look like seven years ago? And what does it look like today? What kind of progress have you made? How has your identity changed and shifted over this last seven years? Because it's very easy to figure out what's not working right now, right? It's easy to stay in that place, but let's celebrate some of the victories you've already had because you have made some change. So let's look back so that we know where we're going moving forward. Now, the other thing I would suggest that you do is look at where you still have actions, attitudes, and behaviors that you've got to think outside of the box. You've got to be doing some things a little bit different because you'll still be holding your your money back. You'll still be holding your talents back, your value back, and you don't want to be doing that. So take a look at those things. You have until March to use that energy, but I think it really is a little bit more pronounced here in December because the month is not so full of, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so take advantage of looking at this stuff in your second house and how you're showing up, okay? All right, at the beginning of the month here on the second, we've got Venus who's moving into the sign of Scorpio. Now, this is going to light up your ninth house space, okay? The ninth house is about travel, education, publishing, broadcasting, faith. I teach the ninth house as faith, and faith has very little to do with what you believe. It has everything to do with what your actions are, right? Like, if I wasn't afraid, I would do fill in the blank. That action that you take at the end of that sentence, that's faith right? And it's very courageous. So Venus here in the ninth house, this gives be a beautiful energy of harmonizing this area for you. If you've been studying, trying to get a license, trying to get a certification, maybe you've wanted to do schooling or you're in schooling, Venus could also usher a little bit of money in here to you. Now it is Venus, so she could bring some romance. Maybe it's with a teacher or a spiritual leader or maybe somebody who's foreign than you because the ninth house does govern um, international things, languages, right? Maybe you meet somebody and they just have this accent and you're like, ooh, keep talking, please. You know, it could be something wonderful like that. Now, on the sixth, we've got Mercury, who's also here in Scorpio, but in that first few days, Mercury is retrograde, but on the sixth, he comes direct right there in Scorpio, so also in the ninth house. Now, keep in mind, while Mercury's retrograde, we suggest that you not make any big purchases or decisions and things like that if you can wait. But as Mercury comes direct, you're a little bit more online to be able to do that. But I will remind you that just because Mercury comes direct this day doesn't mean he's fully in the game. He's just waking up. He's got to have his cosmic coffee. He's got to get his life together before he really resumes his orbit. So if you can slow down before making any really big decisions, just give him like a week, okay? If you can't, then you do what you need to do. But this this will help you have clarity around this ninth house stuff. What is your thinking? What are you speaking? What are you teaching about? Are you teaching something and you're just magnetic and people are receiving you well? This could be a beautiful energy for that as well, okay? 
On the 7th, we've got a new moon happening in Sagittarius along with the sun and Jupiter being over there. Jupiter is expanding. The sun is saying, look at me, look at me. I want to be seen here. And the new moon is planting the seeds of intention, new stuff happening, new beginnings, new opportunities. And this is in your 10th house space, so the tip top of your chart. So that's your career. Now, it's not just career, but it's also your soul level calling. What is the skill? What is the talent? What is the gift that you have that you're going to give out to the world? What are you going to be known for? What's your status? Who are you in public, right? That's what that energy is about, and it's bringing new energy. So on the 12th, we've also got Mercury coming into Sagittarius, and Mercury is very business savvy, so you love to see Mercury direct in that 10th house as well, along with new moon. So new conversations at work, new conversations about doing something that you love. This could certainly be at this particular point, maybe you are getting engaged because when we change something at the top of the chart, when you change your romantic status from we're not living together to we're living together to I'm single, now I'm married, this also changes who you are in public. So while I don't think it's a particularly an entirely romantic energy, if you do have romance on your table, that that could be something you're having a conversation about as well. But certainly things in the workplace have better conversation and fresh energy coming to the table. If you've been looking for a job, this is also a great energy. On the 22nd, we've got the full moon happening in Cancer. This is in your fifth house. Now the full moon in the fifth house. First of all, the full moon says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, okay? So it's telling us that we need to create a shift in some way, shape, or form here. So one of the things you could be doing is being like, I have not been playing. I have not been creating. I have not been expressing. I have not been just putting out my Pisces, right? And so this could be an energy where you are like, I'm putting the kibosh on that. I need to play a little bit. And it could get you being very, very busy right? Because in order to make an adjustment here, you kind of have to spot what hasn't been working and then you get some clarity and then you So can just make on the change. other side, we've got the sun in Capricorn and that is saying, hey friends, right? The sun says, see me. This is, I want you to see me. I'm light, I'm heat, I'm life, I'm vitality. So bringing new friends to the table, new social energy in your friendship zone. And if you haven't been playing, I mean, tell the truth. Tell the truth. When is the last time you really went out and had the kind of fun where your shoulders were down, you weren't worried about money, you were just creative and free and out with your friends or doing something that you loved and enjoyed even just sitting back watching your favorite Netflix and chill or YouTube videos. When's the last time that happened for you? This energy is giving you the opportunity to do that. So please take advantage, okay? All right, Pisces, I think it's going to be an absolutely beautiful month. I always think it's going to be an absolutely beautiful month. <laughs> so I would love to hear how this actually manifests for you. Put it in the comment section down below and I will definitely be peeking in on you to see how things are going, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you so soon. Bye.